Well, it's that time of the year, guys. It's below zero every night now. I've been having to run the diesel heater pretty much 24-7 just because uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries don't like to be charged when they're pretty much at freezing. So my plan is just to keep this thing kind of powered up for the winter. I can still turn the heater on if I want. I'm just going to put a deep cycle 12 volt lead acid marine battery in here and that should keep her going. Still going to have the solar charge controllers charging that battery, but I have to change the settings from lithium iron phosphate to lead acid. That's about it. I'm just going to swap that out now. The current setup here is a three 100 amp hour batteries, two charge controllers, two different solar arrays. So I'm just going to swap this guy in right here in the place of that bring these inside the house to keep them warm for the winter and probably put ah uh, i got a lithium iron phosphate battery charger i might hook this back up in the house and then just kind of keep them charged up for the winter and then the spring comes again let's reset up all this stuff out here again as always we have to disconnect the solar panels that one and that one and then we can disconnect the batteries but you can't have solar hooked up to the charge controller with the battery not hooked up so let's go ahead and do that right now that killed our solar going in and now we can disconnect the battery like so and disconnect all that stuff the batteries are all disconnected i kind of scratched in the number so that's battery number one that's battery two battery three and i left battery two with all these terminals or wires still attached so i'm going to set this up in the house like it is in here minus the power going to it until i need to charge it i'm just going to monitor it in there and that's it so now let's get these batteries out of here put this deep cycle in now with all the batteries out i got the new deep cycle battery in there and wow what a difference in weight that thing is weighs a ton Compared to these guys, like these weigh nothing. That thing is freaking heavy. So, wing nuts, disconnect the wing nuts, put the leads on there, tighten them back up. Then we'll fire up the battery switch here, getting our solar charge controllers back up online. And before we put the panels back on or connect them, we're gonna have to reset both those charge controllers for lead acid. The deep cycle battery is reconnected. Now we're gonna repower it. And there we go. So both our charge controllers are powered up now. Now we just have to go through the settings and change them both to lead acid. And that can be seen right here. It says Li, that's lithium on both. So let's get that fired up. Back to our good old lead acid. On the Renogy Rover charge controllers to switch between batteries, hold the right arrow button down and now the battery thing is flashing so that's the lithium that one is that's gel i think can't really see that's gel that one's not flooded there's flooded now we'll hold that down now we're on flooded battery we'll do the same on this one Hold that down. There we go, that changes the charge cycle for these. And now we can reconnect our panels. I'm not sure if I'm gonna change the battery monitor, but yeah, I guess I could, but I'm not gonna right now. That's my winter setup, just to keep this thing powered up and running. And then next summer or next spring, I'll reinstall the lithium batteries and we'll be good to go. Never go full retard.